Here we go again, sir. Are you ready? Are you ready for another video, huh? Come here. Come here. You gotta, you gotta look your best. You have, you got eye gook. Let me get it. Did you just growl? I gotta get it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Can you let me get it? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be doing a Q&A, questions asked by you guys on Twitter. But first, me and Louie here have to thank you guys for all the support you guys gave on the first video. We were already almost at 2,500 subs. We got over 5,000 views, over 1,000 likes. The, the like-dislike percentage is probably the highest I've ever seen on any of my videos. So that's like ridiculous. I think it's got something to do with this little man right here. But look at, you're already shedding all over. I just put these shorts on, look at this. Look at this. Look at all this hair. I gotta, get, I gotta brush you. Uh, you're gonna get brushed. I posted a tweet asking you guys to ask me some questions about Louie and myself. And it was mostly about Louie. Understandable. Are you like checking out here, sir? Are you done? We haven't even gotten one question in. You lazy bum. You didn't even have a tired day. You're lazy, you laid around. It's okay. All right, first question is from LoreXPoo. Uh, why did you pick Louie as his name? So the answer is pretty easy. Uh, I didn't put a lot of thought into naming him at all. I know that might sound bad, but when I saw him, uh, when I saw the Louie, uh, he just screamed Louie. Like the first thing that popped in my head, the name was Louie. I don't know why, but I just went with my gut and I called him Louie. And Louie's like a really nice name because it's not long, it's really short. Uh, when you're calling him, it's not like something like Barnaby or something. I don't know why I came up with that name. But Louie just sounded good. And I think it has kind of always been in my head and it just like when I saw him, it popped out. But I do have this to add. If I do get another dog, um, and it's a female, the name will be Ellie, because Ellie just goes so well with Louie. I, I actually put thought into that, and it, it just goes really well with Louie. But again, it might change if I see the dog, another name might pop out, be like, Jennifer! <laughs> Come on, Zanese. Thank you! Sorry. <laughs> Did I wake you? Alex Typo Master asks, are there any habits or quirks that Louie has that you either enjoy or dislike? Uh, he has a lot of quirks that I enjoy. There's very few that I would say I dislike. The, there's one that he does that I think is just, it's not like, I don't know if this qualifies as a quirk, but the one I dislike, there's only one, is he will pull me and like to go to another dog, but he will bark and act like he wants to attack this dog, but he just wants to get to the dog, and he's trying to communicate that to me, but he doesn't understand that that's not always the case. Not every person and not every dog wants a Louie in their face, you know? So that's the one thing, because it's like the person who's on the other end of it might not, like they're so much less likely to let their dog sniff Louie if they have any precaution about their dog. So. Yeah, that's a, like one thing. Other quirks he has, I'll show you one of them. I might make a video on this, but I'll, I'll show you one of them that's funny. Um, he does with his dog bed, especially if you help him. Uh, if you if you draw his attention to it, it's kind of funny. And it tires him out. It's a good form of exercise. So one of his silly quirks that he does is if you put like your hand under the bed, he doesn't absolutely, <laughs> he attacks the bed. So he thinks the bed has come alive. And he will attack. Attack. So you'll see he'll start like digging. He's like waiting for it to move. I'll put my foot under it. Get it, Louie. Get it. Where'd it go? Get it. Is it under there? Get it. Get it. Get it. Oh, it's back there. Get it. Oh my god. Louie, I just realized I have two different socks on. I have Harry Potter socks and I am Groot socks. What have I done? <laughs> Get it. There he goes. <laughs> now he's gonna beat it up. He's like, how dare you, bed. 
Get it, Louie. It's mine. Give me that one. Oh! So violent. Oh! Give me that. Oh! It, this bed is, doesn't, it doesn't deserve it. Give me this bed. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look what you've done. Oh my God. Give me this. But it's a poor bed. It didn't do anything. Oh my God. Oh my God. He's so violent. Zombie Mold asks, what annoying thing does Louie do that tests your love, so to speak? Uh, the two things that um, annoys me the most. Uh, the first thing is, especially this time of year, it's cold. So when I take him out for walks, uh, I like to play Pokemon Go. And uh, I don't wear gloves because I have to take the gloves off to pick up his poop anyway. And I just don't have that many pockets. So I'm like, okay, I have pockets for my hands. They should be warm enough. Louie takes it upon himself to pull the leash constantly and pulls the leash out of my pocket and my hand. So my hand starts freezing to death. He also waits to go as far as possible to poop. So when we're coming back, I have to have my hand out of my pocket holding the poop bag and leash for as long as possible. <laughs> and I feel like he tactically does it. The second thing he does is he will poop in front of people. He will see people out in their yard and he will squat in front of them and poop. I think he thinks it's a sign of dominance or power, but it's the most embarrassing thing ever because I have to, to pick it up in front of them. He does it tactically. He does it all the time. It's always poop. And I swear, sometimes he's tried to do it and he has no poop, but he still tries to squat and poop in front of them. I don't know what it is, but it's only when he's on walks. He doesn't do it like when he's in someone's backyard playing. It's only like when we're walking around. It's like he wants to like own their house or something, right? It's a weird thing you do. It makes me feel embarrassed and uncomfortable. But you don't care about how I... Coco asks, does Louie have a favorite toy that he loves? And yes, if I give it to him right now, you'll see how much he loves because he'll perk right up. Watch. What is this? Is this your toy? Yeah, do you want this? Do you want this? Yeah. Can you, can you, can you, yeah. Good boy. It stinks, by the way. <laughs> Absolutely smells. He tries to bring it into the bed with me and I have to put it up on the dresser because I cannot stand the smell of that thing. I have to keep it as far away as possible. I think he's just going to town on it. That's gonna be nice for people to hear during the video. Yeah. Are you, are you good now? I think I should have given you at the end of the video. It should have been the last question mm -hmm. tonight. I answered, I don't know what I've done. Jamu asks, does Louie have any silly quirks? Uh, I guess I can show you one of them as I try to take this bone away from him. <laughs> and he's just gone. <laughs> Louie, come back. I didn't mean to make you leave. He will, anytime you go for his toy, especially his favorite toy, you make any lunge, you can still hear him chewing. He will get up and go. Beverly D. Leg one asks, how old is Louie and do you plan on letting Louie have puppies? Louie is, oh God, <laughs> I gotta do math. Uh-oh. Uh, Louie was born July 2016, I believe, sometime during that. So he is three years and seven months old, right? Yeah, I think I math correctly. And do I plan on letting Louie have puppies? He is fixed, so he can't have puppies but I don't think I could handle even one more Louie. Let's be honest, Louie, Louie's alpha dog. Molly asks, are there any foods that Louie loves and are there ones that he hates? Louie absolutely loves broccoli and carrots. Those are his two favorite treats of all time. He goes crazy for them, wants them. He loves french fries as well. That's like an occasional treat. Broccoli and carrots are like his big major treats. He loves them. And uh, things that he hates, the only thing I've seen that he just doesn't enjoy, that he's tried, is lettuce. But he'll try to eat it, but he'll spit it out mostly, and celery. Those are two things that he's just not interested in. I think it's because it's mostly water. Nick Twist asks, did Louie have any weird behaviors as a pup that he outgrew? Yes. Uh, it was something that I had to work on because in his breed, they are a herding breed. So they herd livestock, most like sheep are like the most common things. 
So as a puppy, he would try to herd me. So he would nip at my ankles. So I had to like get him not to do that because <laughs> he's going to run around nip at people's ankles. That is like one thing as a corgi puppy. That's what they tend to do is so if you run, they will chase after you and try to like get on your side. And then it's not like a hard bite, but they're trying to like keep you in line. So I had to, uh, as he was doing it, like a good way that I fit, found that worked with him is anytime he did like nibble or bite, and it, it hurt a little bit, I would yell out. And I wouldn't look at him, I would just yell out. And it, it seemed to, I don't know if that's the way to go, but that's what worked with him. And he got over it pretty quickly. It was only a couple weeks that he would do it. And he, he did it very sparingly, very sparingly. But yeah, that was the weird behavior. I, I've never been herded. And it was, it was, it was very, very weird to think that he thought I was a sheep. <laughs> Allegretto asked, looking back, how does it feel watching Louis grow? It was very weird. It happened real fast. But when you look back and see how different he looked as a puppy and each stages of puppyhood that he ascended to, it's really weird seeing the different behaviors he had, how different he is now compared to when he was a puppy. It's kind of insane. But it's also been a lot of fun because he's grown into a really awesome dog. Right, Louie? You lazy butt. Lazy butt. Addy asks, what is Louie's favorite time of the year? I think his favorite time of the year is winter because he loves snow. He loves playing in it. He loves eating it. So I think his favorite time is winter. Um, he absolutely loves it. That would be his favorite time. Probably gonna butcher this Twitter handle, so I apologize in advance, but Yuriko Kazama asks, what are Louis's favorite things to do? Louis is a sucker for food. Louis absolutely loves food. He will harass you until you give him something. He'll give you the puppy eyes, the eyes I've never eaten in my entire life, the I haven't been fed anything ever eyes, um, but he really enjoys food. He loves walks. He loves exploring, he loves sniffing. Uh, he likes going on hikes, going through trails and stuff. He really enjoys just being out there, investigating everything. He is very curious. Uh, exploring is probably his favorite thing to do. Uh, new toys, of course. Exploring something that's new. Anything that's new. He's a big into new. He's, a, he's, a, he's into the new. He might not look like it, but he's super energetic. He's very tired today very tired or you just don't you're just not interested in this video right there's no food there's no pizza there's no pizza Brett hero dan asked does louis prefer certain textures for his toys like chewy rubber or jute fabrics i don't think he has a preference for toys but if it does have a squeaker it dies he guts it he murders it and he rips up the squeaker so he can't squeak no more he has issues with squeakers they hurt him in a past life. So he must murder them all. Billy Joe asked, have you ever thought about getting Louie a little brother or sister? And how well do you think he would tolerate them? I have thought about it, because Louie does really well with other dogs. Um, anytime I take him to the dog park, he goes to the big dog side, plays with a bunch of the dogs, wrestles, runs around, chases. Then he goes to the small dog side and just chills out with them as he's like, his energy levels are low and he's just hanging out with them, having a good old time. So he would tolerate any dog I get, as long as it's friendly back to him and wants to play. That's like what he wants. Uh, but I can only handle one dog at the moment. Um, and uh, I kind of just enjoy having one dog because especially his breed needs a lot of attention and they have tons of energy. So having another one would probably be uh, a lot of time consuming and I just don't have the free time to have a second dog to devote to that yet. But I think eventually, yeah, I would definitely get another dog because dogs are awesome. Rebecca asks, what does a typical day look like for you and Louie? Favorite things to do? Well, we usually wake up, uh, I take him out for a walk uh, around a, a neighborhood. He does his business. Maybe he sees a dog or two. Um, then we come inside, I eat, probably take a shower. He does dog things, probably finds a toy. I try to go to the dog park every few days if I can. Winter, it's kind of hard because it's cold. And currently our dog park is under siege of water. And it's really bad to take him to the dog park when it's 30 or 40 degrees out with tons of water puddles. 
But either that, I try to take him to a park that allows him inside that we can walk around, like the trails and stuff, exercise him, come back and exercise and take him for walks during the day and probably play with him a little bit. But that's pretty much his typical day, right? Maybe sometimes going to the store. Where are you going? Do you not love me anymore? You left all your hair here. It's probably a mistake to wear black, right? Probably a mistake. I'll never do this again. You have to come back and cover up all the hair. <laughs> Come back and cover up the hair. Thank you, sir. You're a prop piece now. Light asked the lucky ass, what is Louis' favorite time to snuggle? It would definitely be nighttime, sleep time. Uh, we call it sleepy time. And he knows exactly what it is. He jumps up on the bed, grabs a toy, and he'll come up and lay with me for a few minutes and then he'll go to the bottom of the bed and fall asleep. But that is his time to snuggle. And in the morning too, when we wake up. He tries to wake me up, he'll like walk up when he's ready to go outside and just stand over me breathing heavily. It's kind of creepy, but he knows that it's creepy and I think that's why he knows it. Well, look at all this hair. You're not doing your job. You have to cover this up. This is how much they shed, by the way. Look at this. Can you see this? Look at this. this is a, I don't know if you can see it, but this is, a, this is what I get for wearing black. Dragon Wolf G27 asks, as someone who really wants a Corgi, would you say they're easy to train? I can only give you my perspective. Uh, there's always like differences. You do your research online. It'll probably give you a little bit better answer than I'm gonna give you. But Louie was super easy to train. I worked from home. He picked up things super fast. The only thing he had a problem with was chewing. He chewed a lot of stuff, especially when I left him unattended because I felt guilty about keeping him locked up. I gave him freedom sometimes when I shouldn't have. And uh, he chewed the couch, he chewed cabinets, he chewed moldings. He chewed a lot of things. <laughs> he chewed my bedroom nightstand. Uh, he, was, uh, he was all about that chew life. Um, but potty training was super easy. Uh, uh, he didn't jump up on stuff to like take stuff. Like he didn't jump up on couches to steal things. He leaves things alone. He's very well behaved, very well behaved dog. Would they be good with kids and cats if I got a puppy? That's research you're gonna have to do on your end because I didn't have a, uh, I didn't have any kids with me. <laughs> I've never had kids, sorry. <laughs> I never had kids with me. I, I've never had like young kids when he was a puppy around a lot. So I wouldn't know uh, if they're generally good. They do try to herd, um, so they might try to herd little children, thinking they're like animals that they need the herd. So they might nip at their ankles. Um, Louie with cats doesn't uh, work really well. He likes to chase them. He thinks they're ugly looking dogs that he wants to play with. So <laughs> that doesn't do really well. So that's, I can only give you my perspective. Do your research. Uh, he might be an oddball, but yeah, definitely do your research. I think you should do it anyway if you're looking to get one. Terry Ferry asked, does Louie have a lovely woman dog? He did. He had a girlfriend. Um, she passed away a, a couple months ago. It was my parents' dog, my dog when I was growing up. Her name was Chelsea. She was a golden retriever. They absolutely loved each other. They did this weird makeout thing they did with their tongues and their teeth. They would do this thing where they would try to lick each other's tongues. It was kind of gross, but it was their thing. I, I'm not gonna judge their uh, their kink, but um, she passed away and uh, the first few times he went over there, he would look for her and couldn't understand why she wasn't there. So it was kind of sad. But yeah, he did have a girlfriend, right? <laughs> He's so tired today. You're so calm. Where, where is this normally? You're showing people that you're calm and you're not. Jordan asked, what made you start a new channel? I don't know if I answered this in the first video. I, it may have not made it into the video. I think it did. I'm pretty sure it did. But we had done videos in the past on the gaming channel and they just didn't do well in terms of views but people really enjoyed them. They had a lot of likes and a lot of comments. So they kind of just didn't fit on the gaming channel. They didn't blend in. So I figured why not make a channel just devoted to those kinds of videos so the people that are there, that's what they subscribe for. That's what they watch for. And I also kind of just wanted to do something new, something creatively fulfilling. So to start a brand new channel and watch it grow kind of like the original gaming channel did would be kind of exciting and fun. You know? All right, we are out of questions, guys. So please, if you enjoyed this video, leave some likes down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, and share it with another person if 
uh, they're interested in this little boy right here. Next video is probably going to be a double decker bark box. I got two bark boxes, January and February to do. So we'll spoil Louie with a bunch of toys and treats. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys later. Bye.